for the time being, let's shift focus though away from the equity markets to the commodity markets. Manisha Gupta is standing by to give us a roundup of what's going on there. Morning, Manisha. Morning, Nigel. Thank you for that. I'm looking at the copper prices and overall the metals in last three sessions actually have seen strong gains, but that hasn't been able to sustain today in the day here. So while we are looking at copper prices off its six-month lows, but it still is trading under pressure. So negative is back on the screen right now here. Well, uh, the support comes in from the fact that the prices had declined so much. They were trading at a six-month lows and that led to inventories being lifted is the reason you've seen LME inventories decline yet again to below 60,000 tons. And if you look at the Shanghai inventories, those also are trading quite on the lower side. The LMA inventory is back at around 2005 kind of lows. The positive cues though just about continue and the markets are anticipating that the second half of this year is where you could be looking at tightness coming in. The Chile output estimates are on the weaker side. Last year was a decline of 10% year on year basis and this year is a decline of 7% in production on an year on year basis. So the supplies are weaker. The inventories on LME and Shanghai also are on the weaker side and the markets do believe that the weak data that we have seen coming from China could actually lead to more stimulus coming in as early as this week or if not this week then the next week and that could be supportive. This is the International Copper Study Group which says that deficit has lowered in this year but nonetheless it still is a deficit for this year as well. So last year we were dealing with 400,000 tons of a deficit in the global markets. This year it's more than 100,000 tons of a deficit that is expected to continue going forward as well. Uh, the CRU group also has raised the expectation of global demand for this year. They're talking about almost 3.2% of a forecast from earlier demand growth of 2.2% expectation there. Uh, let's talk about the supply, uh, the, the uh, price forecast going forward, and the most bullish one really continues from Max Spectrum and Bank of America. Marix believes that $9,000 per ton is a possibility by the end of this year. At this point in time, we are trading below 8,000, so they are anticipating prices to run up quite strongly from where we are right now. Bank of America is the most bullish of all, $10,000 a ton of an expectation by end of this year. Goldman Sachs in the last week has cut their price forecast for copper from earlier 9700 of a high. They're anticipating prices to average 8700 for the rest of this year. Fitch is talking about 8500 So as we go down, we're looking at lower and lower expectations. And ING says that the copper prices will not fall below 7500 but they're not very bullish on prices going forward as well. Okay, thanks a lot for that. That's on the commodity space. But let's get